Hello and welcome to Film for Dummies. My new 700D, or the T5i for y'all Americans, recently arrived from Canon, and the first thing I done after tearing it from the box and powering it up was to install Magic Lantern. Roll the intro. Magic Lantern is a free software that runs on Canon DSLRs to give them majorly enhanced features with massive controls for shooting mode. Magic Lantern is like custom firmware, but it's slightly different. Rather than the standard firmware hacks that alter your camera's software directly, Magic Lantern runs from a memory card without directly altering your camera's firmware. This has pros and cons. Pros are that it's slightly safer, as in not changing your camera's firmware is always better. The one con, which is only a small con really, you have to have Magic Lantern installed on all of your SD cards or your compact flash cards. Before we go any further, the usual disclaimer when we talk about firmware hacks and that sort of thing, installing Magic Lantern voids your warranty with Canon. This guide is only going to show you how to install Magic Lantern, not how it works. That will be coming out once I've gotten around to writing it. So, let's get started. First of all, you'll need a few things. First thing is a Magic Lantern compatible Canon DSLR, obviously. Um, a fully charged battery for that camera. An SD or compact flash card, whatever uh, your DSLR uses. An SD or compact flash card reader. And a laptop, PC or Mac with an internet connection. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you have the right official firmware version. Uh, from Canon. Here is our first hurdle because at the time of writing this the Canon firmware is 1.5.1 while Magic Lantern only works for 1.4.1 so we're gonna have to backdate our camera. The link at the bottom titled 700D firmware will lead you to a download site as annoyingly Canon don't archive previous firmware versions on the website and um, I don't know why. If the Magic Lantern team have updated to the current firmware, then you don't have to do this. All that matters is that your camera's current version matches that of the Magic Lantern files. files apologies, you will download later from the link below called Magic Lantern. So, first of all, insert your card into the reader and open it in your file explorer or whatever the equivalent on Mac is. Extract the downloaded firmware and copy the .fir file onto the root directory of your card. Once that's done, eject your card and return it back to your camera. Turn your camera on and navigate to the settings menu. Now find the setting called firmware and select it. A window will pop up and ask you if you wish to update your firmware. Select yes and follow the on-screen instructions. Now that you've finished with your firmware, it's time to download the actual Magic Lantern hack. Open the link below titled Magic Lantern, duh, and download the build that's relevant to your needs. In my case, it's the 700D slash Rebel T5i version. Um, open that and download the .zip file within. Plug your SD slash compact flash card back into your reader once again. Uh, please note that you do have to format it again once you complete the above steps. Um, so you want a fresh install each time you plug your SD card into your SD reader. Uh, extract the Magic Lantern files you've just downloaded from your file explorer and again copy all the files onto the base directory of your card. Eject the card again, place it back into the camera. The same as before, locate the firmware setting and now update the camera firmware. This time however you'll be asked if you wish to download Magic Lantern. Agree and again follow the on-screen steps. After a quick restart of your camera, you'll see that you have loaded Magic Lantern onto your camera. Congratulations. You can now access the massive array of settings by using the delete button on your camera while in live view mode. A comprehensive guide will be coming out soon on how we use Magic Lantern and the features that we love the most. If you liked this video, please leave a like. If not, leave a dislike. And don't forget to comment down below telling us why you did or didn't like it. Also follow us on Twitter. And finally, all of the links we used today are down below. Bye guys.